What is up you guys? This is Fox is Dead here. Today we're back with another video review. Today's review is gonna be on Home Depot's Halloween 2020 animated grave digger. And all I gotta say, this guy is the best. That's all I have to say. He's amazing, he's cool, he fits perfect perfect for my haunt. One other thing, but he's he's pretty big. This guy is massive. I know in the box it says that it's six and a half feet tall, but this guy doesn't look six and a half feet tall. He looks more than that, to be honest. Like, compare him to the boogeyman. Like, his tip of his hat almost reaches the same height as his. Well, let me take off the hat. There we go. Well, at least a little bit, but you can see what I mean. He's almost seven feet tall. And compare him next to my uh, custom prop. I got him closer, and you can see he's actually six feet. This guy is not six and a half feet. He's big. I wouldn't say he's big in height, but like in size, he's humongous. Just standing from the side view, he's really tall. But like right now, since he's in my, he, he's in my room, so he doesn't really look that tall. But if I bring it down to my living room, he looks really, really big. There's also Barry the Butler right next to him too. And I know he's small, but like this guy is huge. Guys, I apologize for talking about how big he is. It's just that he's pretty cool and I really love him a lot. And I don't regret buying this guy at all. But without further ado, let's get to reviewing, reviewing this guy. When I first wanted to buy him or like when I saw him through like the video or like the images, I literally thought he was tiny. He looks small, like probably the same height as this guy. But no, he's actually pretty big. So the total of animation he has is, I believe, four. He has waist animation, uh, the moving arm, the head movement, and the, you know... The mouth movement also. Or the regard regarding this prop, there are a few issues I have with him, but luckily I got them uh, solved. The first one is when I took him out of the box, his like whole thing right here, like this top frame, was loose, and I didn't feel like that was normal at all because they don't they're not supposed to come out loose with the um where it's connected to like you know right down there. It was really loose, but I was able to fix him. Uh, yeah. By uh, tying, me, uh, tying him up on um, four, four zip ties on like each side to like help it balance, and it worked. Another problem he had was the way how this guy was made, that where you could where you like hook up the head onto like the whole body frame. This part right here was getting caught on this on the like right here, and whenever it tried to move its head, it get. It, Every time it got caught on there, it was trying to force it, uh, and I felt like it's going to break at some point. But all I did is just lift it up the head more, and, it, and it's now moving smoothly. Another one. His, since his pants were, like, folded up, they were really flat on the side, but, like, I added some, some pool noodle. There it is, and his feet are big. But there's the f a pool noodle to help fill in the pants or, like, you know, the legs. Although one thing I noticed that his prototype looks really, really different to what he looks like now, like his final model. So like in the other prototype, he actually has um, he has an angry looking or like grumpy old face of an old man. But once the like the final model, as you can see right now, he doesn't look that grumpy. He kind of does. You just gotta look closely. But yeah, I just I just love him no matter what. That's all I gotta say. I had him for like a week now already. So yeah. He's gonna start getting used to the house. But also, I actually love the, um, the shovel that he comes with. It comes in two pieces, so all you gotta do is just connect them. Well, first let in the piece first, this piece into the arm, or to the hand, and then connect that piece to there. And there's a Velcro strip, Velcro strip right here, that hooks onto here, so it, like, holds on to the shovel. But yeah, regarding on detail, it's amazing. I know it's just bit, it looks simple, but like from far away distance, it looks pretty cool. Like the lantern, the way how he was, the it was painted. Same thing with the shovel. I like the way how like it has that rusty look and old metal look because like how dirty it is. Same thing with this part. You can see like there's a bunch of like spots all over it because you know how he's a grave digger and he digs dirt a lot and he gets dirty and stuff. I just love this guy a lot, no matter what. Now let's get to the demo on this guy. I hooked up the um, the step head that belongs to him because he does have a function that you can connect a step head to him. So yeah, let's step on it and show you the demo. This place is filled with the bodies of those I've buried over the years. Why, somewhere even dead when I buried them. Others. 
shoulders for the undead, and I had to bury them just to keep them quiet. Hold on, guys. I apologize. I had to move him back because he was getting hit by him. They say this place is haunted. Oh, I've seen the spirits of the dead walking and floating above the ground, but that's not my job. No, sir. I put the bodies under the ground. Most of the time when I bury a body, they stay buried. But every now and then, one pops up and grabs you. You best run along before another one of them gets antsy. A gypsy woman said I'd be burying four bodies tonight. I've buried three bodies so far. I wonder. I'll get the whole dog in and we'll just see who gets to lay in it. <laughs> Be careful where you tread. Some buried folks don't stay buried and are likely to grab you around the ankle and pull you down with them. <laughs> no, I don't have to dig a grave for everybody buried here. I've heard that this place is a cursed patch of land. On Halloween night, the buried bodies will rise back up from the ground and reclaim the souls of others. I doubt that's true, but I'm gonna keep this shovel handy just in case. Well, that's the demo for the Grave Digger. Although one thing I've been experiencing with him, every time I leave him connected to the cord, like any time I did that, I leave it on the like the step pad function and uh he tends to turn on by himself. So like he goes off by itself and I don't know why exactly. It's probably because of the thing inside that um that act like you know the thing in there's something like a little disc inside connected to the two wires or something like a I kind of don't know how to explain it, but there's something inside that like activates the step or like function how that thing works. I really don't know much about it, but I've seen it. So yeah, he does go off by himself every like two hours or something depends on well hold on let me show you something okay that's him and this is uh hold on never mind but every time when i turn on the fan he activates but like for some reason it's not doing that although more let's talk about more about the de i actually love how the detail is on the um on the face too like, you know, the wrinkles and stuff. I like the way how they painted his teeth yellow. Like, you know, how old he is. Show, like, like he's an old man and stuff. He's an old grave digger. Although, this thing is the motion sensor right there. It looks like a button, but it's actually the sensor that takes movement. One little issue I do have... Well, sorry. <laughs> One little issue I do have is, uh... Why does SVI do this? They drill a giant hole just for the lantern? Come on, SVI. You gotta be kidding me. But it doesn't really matter at all. It's just really doesn't. Anyway, guys, that's all about him. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're new to this. I'm also realizing that if I checked on my channel, here's an image about what I'm seeing. And it's not happening to me. It's happening to everybody else. But, like, people who are subscribed to this channel, it's not tend to not watch it a lot. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified of my videos. You might miss out some good stuff. Also, follow me on Instagram at Fox of the Dead 001. If you can't do, if you can't find it like that, just look in the um, link in the, you know, down here and follow me. Also, because you get also um some some things that are coming up on this channel. Most of the time, they're just things I post randomly. But just check on, you know, on Instagram. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.